Video games being adapted for the big screen has been a topic that has been talked amongst video game and movie fans for a very long time. Some might say that we've never had a good video game film, but then there are people like myself that think that Mortal Kombat is the best video game movie ever made. But aside from that, novels and comic books and other types of mediums have been translated to the big screen fairly successfully. and. I'm wondering why video games haven't taken that step in that direction and because video games nowadays have become more and more cinematic and they have some really compelling stories. So now we come to the latest video game adaptation for the movies which is the Tomb Raider franchise. There's been two Tomb Raider films prior to this one so it's really easy to get caught up in thinking that this is going to be the film that takes that the video game genre and sets it over the edge. and. Though it's not that, the film isn't terrible at the same time, it's just fine. To its credit, this film is fairly entertaining. There's a bunch of action sequences that are well constructed. The visual effects aren't terrible and they're pretty convincing. And the film structure overall felt very similar to a video game. But for me, this film's biggest strength was Alicia Vikander and the physicality that she brought to the character of Lara Croft. And not so much with the stuff that she did with the character phys physically, but what she kind of like emoted uh, for, with her performance through the pain that she suffers through this film because her character gets beat up a lot in this movie. And that's something that I really appreciated about this character is that this is a vulnerable Lara Croft and she's not the best at everything and she's not this unbeatable superhero. And and I really like that about the character and there's this one scene that really stood out to me was when she experiences her first kill and the emotional weight that comes with that and it allowed her character and her performance to really shine in this moment. But on the flip side of that, I will say there are several moments in this film that are very unbelievable in the sense that the things that Laura walks away from is kind of like not realistic and not very grounded because Alicia Vikander is this tiny woman. She falls several thousand feet and walks away with some really major injuries, but she's still going and pushing herself further throughout the film. And I, I you just kind of have to really remind yourself that this is a movie and it's based off a video game and a character like this would be able to walk away from things like that. However, my biggest problem with this movie is that the story was just very shallow in my opinion. The I never felt that I was solving puzzles along with Lara and they got solved really quickly and very conveniently. And also the villain felt was kind of like lackluster in my opinion. He had his menacing moments throughout the movie, but he just felt very like one dimensional and had no depth to him. And overall, this movie just felt like there were no layers to it, especially in the character relationships. I mean, there is this compelling storyline with Laura and her father and how she's dealing with these abandonment issues because he left her when he was very young to go off and search for this mystical power or whatever. And this also, this isn't so much a weakness as it is an observation, but there's this clear influence of Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade on this movie. And when I think about it more and how this movie is trying to fit into this certain genre, there in my opinion, isn't a better property to pull from than the Indiana Jones franchise. In the end, if you're a fan of the game franchise, I think you'll really enjoy this movie. It's by all means not perfect. The story wasn't the greatest, but there was enough there to keep me entertained. Most notably how grounded the Laura Croft character was and Alicia Vikander's portrayal of said character. And for those reasons, I'm giving Tomb Raider three out of five stars. So now it's your turn. If you saw Tomb Raider, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to like and share it and stay up to date on all the videos go up on this channel. Give that subscribe button a click. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.